Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be playing something a little different. We're going to be playing Chicken Police Paint It Red, which is a noir detective game with a little bit of a twist, which I won't spoil. But as the thumbnail suggests, as soon as I saw it in the store, I needed it in my life. So now we're going to go on this adventure together. Hope you're going to enjoy it as much as I think I'm going to enjoy it at the same time. So without further ado, let's just jump straight in and enjoy, guys. Dead men are heavier than broken hearts. Raymond Chandler, the big sleep. I missed that bottom bit. I ran out to get a pack of cigarettes, but I left my wallet at home. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Yes, you old. are seeing that correctly. My name is Sonny. Sunny, Sunny Featherland. Featherland. An investigator for 20 years. <laughs> and once the star of the predatory division of the Clawville Police Department. One half of the legendary Chicken Police. But you... buying a pack of smokes is more than I can handle right now. Maybe I should just lay low. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, so... You're not, uh, you're not seeing place things. In the wilderness. For all the gods, what bullshit. The last the... clucking color left this city years ago. <laughs> and slowly I'll turn grey too. Damn, man. So we're going to paint the town red. With the chicken police. <laughs> so what do I expect? <laughs> Oh god, this is so bizarre. And don't even <laughs> notice that everything got clucked up a long time ago. We believe in this wonderland. Oh, the, the puns, of man, the puns. Existence. Wolves and sheep, chickens and hounds. Yeah, sure. Why not? It's just ridiculous. The dog eats the chicken. It's in our nature. I'm not propping up the illusion anymore. 121 days, and it's over. Getting too over this shit. <laughs> oh, this is a thing of what immense possibly go bizarreness wrong? and brilliance. Clawville City, Rock District, former Atlas Hotel. This is our office. Oh, hello. I have someone waiting for us. So yes, oh, kiss crap. you. Hold My on. My office lock is a piece of shit if a dame can pick it. She stood in the darkness. The light painted stripes on her body. It whispered secret little things that were never there in the first place. Very. But she was no <laughs> zebra. Reality was just a light switch away. Elizabeth... Or Charlotte. I was sure Which one do you think it is? Sounding name. She had a bygone look in her eyes. Older than this ancient building. And perhaps the whole city itself. It's very stylish. It's stylishly written. I will say that. But she was the first womanly thing in my place. Woman. For a long womanly time, thing. So I had to give her a chance. Okay. Alright. So yes. This would be Chicken Police. <laughs> the gritty adult, well, say adult, you know, 17, I think it's a mature rated game. The gritty detective noir novel where the main characters, or well, all the characters, are animals with human bodies or humans with animal heads, whichever you want to take it. So, no, you're not seeing things. This is actually happening. <laughs> This is actually happening right now, and we're going to jump into it together. We're going to go descend into the rabbit hole of madness and bizarreness of animals. Detective book. Yeah. <laughs> so you see what I mean when I, you know, when I say that I saw it and thought, I need to play this. I need to see what the hell's going on with this game. So we're going to do it together. So I think we should probably shut that in. Oh, cabinet. So we should really talk to her. Um, right, so let's 
Who is this dame anyway? And what the cluck is she doing in my apartment? New Year's, New Year's Eve. Eve. Also New Year's story. Um Let me introduce myself. My name is Deborah. Oh Ms. Deborah. Deborah Ibanez. <laughs> Deborah Ibanez. <laughs> Ibanez is a type of it's a breed of animal, isn't it? I'm sure it's a Ibanez uh not goat. Wildebeest or something like that. You're mistaken, ma'am. You're mistaken. Oh, really? Please enlighten me, Mr. Featherland. I'm not a private eye. I'd recommend Philip... M oh, I mean, Mr. Phil Marlowe instead of me. He's a nice guy. I'm liking the main character. He's got some... F he's got some style. I will say that. Believe me, Mr. Featherland... It's not an accident I came to you. Look, miss, I work for the police and I'm currently on leave. I couldn't accept private commissions even if I wanted to. Not even from a classy dame like you. Does that mean we've been suspended temporarily? Am I that easy to read? I think you are. That's my job. But tell me, since you've invited yourself in, would you like a drink? I don't... I think I we could all do with a drink, drink right now. Do you think so? Well, I've got to have one. And it'd be rude of me to drink alone. So, maybe some sherry? I think we need something stronger than sherry. Or something different to sherry, actually. To be fair, I don't know how strong sherry is. If you insist. But bourbon, please. Mm, bourbon? Bloody hell. Ah, thank the wild ones. That's all I have. Okay, we're just gonna have a drink. Let's what just have a, a drink. So come on, spill it from the beginning. All right, all right, Broad. Tell us what the hell's going on. Oh, cutscene. We've got cutscenes and everything. Bloody hell. Um. All right. Let's Speak That's to her better. again. Now, if I understand correctly, right. your mistress is receiving threats. What kind of threats exactly? Yeah, in question. Good question. Good it's question. a very strange matter. First, there were letters. Then it came printed on a wine bottle's label, sent as a gift. That's bizarre. Then carved into a brick, thrown through the window. And finally, they painted it on the wall of the house in giant Doomch. red letters. Paint it red. I think it's time to dig a little deeper. If you don't mind, I'd like to ask you some routine questions. All right, what questions are we going to ask? Please, that's why I'm here. So you're here on behalf of your mistress. Boss, whatever you want to call it. New function questioning, right. Are we going to... Uh, victim and ladies talk of some strange threats. All of them are written. Alright, uh, what's all going about Deborah? Deborah Ibanez. Species Impana. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the, the, the Latin on that one. Gender, female. Special feature. Pretty and fragile. Nothing too special. Uh, she runs errands for her employer. A sophisticated lady, but I don't think she's from a particularly wealthy or influential family. What gave you that impression? I don't think uh, chicken police. Santino Sonny Featherland. The chicken police is a famous detective duo. Santino Sonny Featherland and Marty McChicken. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, that <laughs> name. Marty McChicken <laughs> gained fame through a case press called The Bloody New Year's Eve. They flew high for almost ten years when a fateful brawl put an end to their legend. Did feathers fly? There was a series of novels about them by Meredith H. Marble. They had published ten books over the course of seven years before the series faded out of public interest. Ours did. The Chicken Police itself. We're going to read about the city. 
Chlorville has been an independent city state for more than 900 years. During the city's foundation, four nations had joined forces, represented by the four animal figures and the four hands of the crest of Chlorville. In reality, the tribal alliance of the reptiles, the great insect clans, had also played an essential part in the city's founding. Are we going to get bugs in this as well? But they never got to be represented on the crest. This gave birth to a political and cultural antagonism but antagonism all right? between the species. Chlorville preserved its political autonomy and the dream that is the only state in the wilderness where the predator and prey of any race can live in peace. Hence the name, the City of a Thousand Colours. Three gods are revered. <laughs> So the wild ones, we're going to talk about the wild ones now. Three gods are revered in most places across the wilderness. They're the great wild ones who make up the holy trinity of creation, destruction, and science. Harati is the goddess of creation. Patap, Patapti, Tapti is the lord of destruction. And Nakvatiti, I think I did very well there. Nakv <laughs> Nakvatiti is a genderless ghost of silence and nothingness keeping the balance between creation and destruction in their never-ending conflict. I don't know, just got some. So, oh, Greenhorn. Unlucky. Right, uh, so let's ask some questions. So, this is the part where the interrogation comes. Like in those detective movies. Yes, I think Something so. Something like that, Deborah. Yes. Alright, Deborah, spell it. Ah. Question. Focus on what you know about the suspect. Is he or she suspicious? Concentrate on that. Subject. John Doe. Focus. This follower is rather suspicious. I need to concentrate on that. Focus. Suspicious in question. Suspicious. Detective meter. Plus minus. He's suspicious. I am suspicious. Why are you suspicious? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I find that funny. <laughs> okay, just compose yourself. <laughs> Gather impressions from the suspect. Every impression adds a new question line. Right. New impression. Questions. So many options. It's a tutorial. Detective meter is your best friend. It shows how well the question is going. Keep it on the positive side, okay? I'm assuming that's the black side, which is plus. Blah, blah, blah. I like that. Plus 100. Detective meter is your best friend. I must be cautious and smart. This dame seems shy, yes. which I can use to my advantage. But I must be careful about what I say to her, or I can scare her off. You know, Let's dude, start when gently. you... And when the time comes, when you're looking straight at the camera, hard. your head's kind of small. It's not your best side. Just turn your head a little bit, so you know. Get your good fro going on, you know. Get your good mohawk going on. So, who exactly are you, ma'am? Who exactly are you, ma'am? I'm. I'm not somebody important, Mr. Beverland. I figured that. You're important enough to deal with such a delicate matter, right? Actually, that's a fair point. I carry out the wishes of my employer, nothing more. This means simple paperwork, most of the time. Most of the time? What, what else do you do? You've though? been thrown into deep water, sweetheart. Tell me, can you even swim? Believe me, this is just as unpleasant for me as it is for you, if not even more. I'm not that ugly. He's not that ugly. Excuse me. Oh, Calavera Hills. My name is Manny Calavera. If you get that reference, more power to you. I need to play that game at some point as well for you. Um, Tell me, which part of the city do you live in? I don't even know if I selected that. How I selected that? Flowerville, maybe. Calavera. Look, I I don't want to answer that. I'm here on behalf of my employer and not on personal business. Oh, really? Fair point, Deborah. Let's try a different approach. Okay. 
Ah, okay. I get it. 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 Why do you have to visit me on this particular evening? Stop playing the frightened prey at sunshine and start singing. I think going too aggressive is going to be a uh, the wrong answer here. Why do you have to visit me on this particular Why evening? Why did you have to visit me this particular evening? I have my reasons. I may look like a silly little fawn, and maybe I am, but I still have common sense. Oh, you do. I don't doubt that for a second. Uh, yes, I, I, say I don't doubt that. This day is essential to my mistress, and she thought it's also important to you. Really? Did she really? A message Why is in that? Itself, for sure. But to be honest, even you are. You know what? I'll just take that as a compliment. I don't even know if that even was a compliment yourself. I, I, I would err on side of caution and say that was a compliment. Yes? Uh, no need to ask about her, really. Let's ask her. It's, it's not really interesting to think. Were you born and raised in Clawville? Me bears no thing on the case, really. Do you even know what you want? Is wrong answer is again. I'm going to pick. Why did you come visit me? Why not your employer herself? Why did you come to visit me? Why not your employer herself? Yes. My employer is Miss Natasha Katsenko. Katsenko. She hasn't really been out. leaving her home lately. Only if she really has to. How so? Ah. Why is she housebound? Miss Natasha is afraid. She's scared because of those unwanted messages. And everyone knows who she is. I think she's... I get the feeling she's famous. So she's that, that kind, kind of, of woman. woman. I don't know what you mean. Of course you do, Deborah. Thank, Thank you, by the way. We're, we're finally, finally getting, getting somewhere. somewhere. We've avoided <laughs> the point long enough. Deborah's hiding something, no question. Let's focus on that. Okay, Sonny, let's do that. Uh, what exactly do you expect by coming here to meet me? What exactly did you expect by I'm coming here, here to me. meet me? I expected your help, just like my mistress said. Oh, that's very nice. But have you seen this neighborhood? Have you seen this wreck called a hotel? I wonder why we are in a hotel, why we're in an old hotel. Someone reliable. Well, I oh. am reliable. Yes, we are. And discreet? That's right. And uh -huh. thorough? No question about that. And has a heart of gold. I don't even know what the hell's going on. Okay, let's stop it right there. Yeah, just hold on to your heart of gold, chick. Can't cool it. Uh, do you think you cut out? Are you in some sort of jam? Are you in some sort of jam? Nothing of the sort. There are simply things better left unsaid. Why though? Then you're wasting my time. I trust your instincts. You'll manage it. You need. I need to know what the hell's yeah, going on before I can take the case. I have no other choice, right? To be honest, no, Mr. Featherland. Not really. Why not, though? Don't you think, Don't you think this whole thing is It's very suspicious. I'm very suspicious, suspicious right now. Look, Santino. I'll explain everything. Good. It's about time you I did. I have no doubt about that. You look just the type, sweetheart. No offense. I'll take that as a compliment. Or maybe I'll act like I haven't heard it. You see, we're starting to understand each other. I'm getting there. If you won't go clean, what's the point of all this? Tell me, Deborah, why should I believe you at all? Tell me, we'll go. Deborah. We'll go over why believe. should I believe you at all? Because my mistress trusts you. Right, should so how do I know that? If you really like what she thinks you are, then yes. Damn, what can I say to that? Actually, that's a, that's a bit of a mood killer. <laughs> Shut down that conversation. Look, Thank you very I didn't much. I mean to back you up against the wall. Oh, you didn't, did you? You have a way with words, sweetheart. Did you ever want to be a cop? 
No, not for the world. <laughs> smart. smart Very smart. Right. Be honest and tell me what you're so afraid of. Be honest and tell me what you're so afraid of. You know, Mr. Featherland, my mistress's partner is Hobart Wessler. Or as most people know him. Right. Ibn Wessler. The Kingpin. Kingpin. Damn. Exactly. Oh my god, is the Kingpin a rat? Oh my lord, is the King... Oh my lord. Is this... Oh my lord. Sorry. Feathery gods, help me. So you get it now. The secrecy. I get mildly, the feeling. I think I understand it all. If those screen, if those shots, thumbnail things come on the top right hand everything. corner is to be relieved. I think the mistress is a cat and her boyfriend is a rat. An actual, like, rat. I guess the rat likes some, uh, some predatorial stuff. Dangerous woman. Right, sorry, Pepper. <laughs> but madly, I think I'll underst understand it all. Wesley, this little piece of the puzzle changes everything. Right. Focus accurately, 100%. Living legend. Get in. Perfect job. Exactly how you would have done 10 years ago before Beware Clawville, Sonny Featherland, and the Chicken Police are back in action. I'm on Mac. I'm on McChicken. Is that who I'm playing? Or am I just a bystander? Right, continue. Uh, right, so let's have a look at the... Employer. Natasha's current significant other is infamous gangster Ibn Wessler. He is a rat. Oh my lord, I love it. Right. <laughs> Natasha Katsenko. Don't you take it to the police? Right, Just go so there and file a report. Keep the whole going Photos, flashing lights, fingerprints. You know the drill. The evidence is very clear. Even a moderately talented detective could easily wrap this case up. Or just try the phone. Triple five, triple one. Okay. So are you not? Are we not taking the case, Sonny? Please, take a look at this. Are you going to dish out information oh, now? Okay. Eh? Uh, oh, right. Right. Inventory. Oh. I know Molly very well. I know Molly oh, there we go. Very Do you have to well. read it? Please note this when deciding whether or not to accept my assignment. Miss Ibanez is a trusted friend. Is that Molly Pretty Ibanez? Gentleman. No, oh, her name's not Molly, is it? I felt like I'd been hit on the back of my head with a blackjack. Reality tilted. Damn. Molly. Good gods. What was her name doing there? I glanced at the opposite wall. Get the feeling Molly's an old squeezer his. Picture frames. Like an eternally dark hole in the wall. A missing piece. She was wearing a light silk dress and singing a lullaby. The waves caressing her beautiful long and To be fair, it is a good, really good writing Why style. Molly? Why now? Mr. Featherland? Yes. Santino. Those hands. Are you all right? <laughs> what the hell is this supposed to mean? Yes. I don't know anything. Get Mr. aggressive. Santino. My mistress told me to give this to you. She said you'd understand. Don't you? Oh, all course, too I well. I think we understand all too that. well. I get it very well. But this case is becoming more and more confusing. It's starting to look like blackmail. Blackmail? Yeah. I'll... Yeah, we're just going to go with it. Yes, blackmail. Don't play innocent with me. But. All right. When can I visit? Yes, yeah, so let's go and visit. visit. Me? Not you. Not you. Miss Katsenko. I need to go and talk to her. Oh, yes. You can find her at the Tsar Club. Uh -huh. Didn't you tell me she's not the social kind? That she's especially unsociable? Or does she only like loud and crowded clubs? 
Hey, that's a thought. No, she's really not like that. But she owns the place. Oh, so she's by the flyer. It must the be a very town. busy club, especially on New Year's Eve, right? I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding Miss Katsenko, but there's one small problem. There's always Together one small problem, and there's always one more quest. Let me guess. Mr. Wessler better not know about my visit. Are well, you going to be stealthy? Exactly. How did you know? 20 years experience, ma'am. <laughs> a oh, lot of time please. on the job. Call me Sonny. It was a pleasure to meet you, Mr. I mean, Sonny. Okay. I'll talk about the rest with Ms. Katsenko in person. A good friend of mine would be happy to take you home if you'd like. I'd appreciate that, Sonny. Okay, we have got a bunny friend. Um, do I need to call? Do I need to call a friend? Um. Okay, I'll be calling Lewis. Is Lewis my friend, the bunny friend? Five 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 nine three two. Oh. Five 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 nine three two. Did I remember that right? Hey Lewis. Am I bothering hey. you? Hey for the record. For all you young'uns out there, this you, this was the was the old landlines. Yeah, remember the number, and it was your know, good old rotary phone. And, you know the beauty is when you have an argument on one, you could slam it down. And actually, if you slammed it hard enough, it rang the bell, and that was it. When you know you uh, you knew you had to get some aggression out. You know you had a good argument when you'd slam that bell. Right, sorry. Okay. Could you come over? I've got a favor to ask if you're not busy. Very meek. For you, anything. Just a minute. Alright. Lewis arrived Ooh. a few minutes later. He's already here. He lived in the rooms above, so it wasn't difficult getting here. Not to mention that he's a rabbit. <laughs> It was a quick hop. A quick hop. The Atlas Hotel was his inheritance. It was once a well-renowned should bring place, it back from the dead. But not anymore. The last economic crisis ruined it. And now, besides me, he was the only resident of this enormous place. Damn straight. Right, give me one minute. Uh, right. Lewis, my man. Thanks for being so quick, Lewis. Can you drive Miss Ibanez? Lewis, home? you're very stylish. I have some things to take care of. I like the fact that you're wearing gloves as well. Of course, Sonny. You know anything for you. Uh huh. Thank you for being so considerate, Sonny. I appreciate it. You're very welcome. Don't mention it. Goodbye, then. Goodbye. So long, Deborah. Maybe see you around. All right. Uh, Every whiskey has the same color look nowadays, the whiskey. at least in this price range. Behind that door oh, bedroom lies door. the kingdom of dirty clothes, cigarette butts, and empty bottles. I find that quite the image in my head there when you mentioned cigarette butts. I don't even know how a chicken would look smoking. I'm having trouble constructing that image in my head. I need to grab my stuff first. <laughs> oh. Uh, draw. Aha. My last cigarette. <laughs> You're lucky I don't have a light, pal. I'm taking that one as well. She doesn't seem so dangerous that I need to grab my gun, but you never know. You should always take it with you. You never know. My wallet and my badge. Yep. The wallet is real. 
The badge ain't. Chief Blood Boil took mine. <laughs> so I got this one out of a pack of cornflakes. Cornflakes. <laughs> just in case. Alright, and so it's a cornflake badge. Alright. Before I visit the club, I have to take a detour. I've got a feeling that this case isn't going to be a one-man job. And there's only one bird in the city I can trust. My ex-partner, Marty. He's going to be at the station. I can only hope he'll be willing to talk to me. Are we getting the team back together? Uh, right. Oh. Main scenes. Move the story forward. These scenes also determine which locations open up or close down. You need to complete all of these if you want to beat the game. Limited scenes are open for a specific duration which is determined by the main story progression. If you are a completionist, be sure to visit all of them before you move to the next main scene. Close scenes cannot be reached for, for the time being. The state will often change throughout the story progression and can be temporary or permanent. Talk tip, pick the next main scene if you're absolutely sure you don't want to visit any of the available limited scenes anymore. You may not be able to visit them later. Okay. And don't even have a choice to wear. Clawville PD. It was New Year's Eve, and I was driving. To be I'm digging the music as well. Risking my whole life's work, but still, it didn't feel, feel any, any different. different. Every day was the same. And the 121 days I had left till my retirement seemed like an eternity. 121 days, that's a lot. <laughs> that's fair, that's kind of home. half a year, six months. Thing every day. A woman Round about there? Nightgown Correct me if I'm wrong. Slowly in Which I probably am. To smooth music. The nine o'clock show. With a glass of cheap oh. bourbon. And the red gown with the silent music. Why not? In the meantime... The proud city of Clawville is slowly eating itself alive, and we're still here. It's getting very much, you know, to lose but our Ellie Noir vibes. While others, the smart ones, had already but gone. with animals, because why not? Does her name really <laughs> upset me this much? Natasha Kudzinko. All those years of solitude, and I still jump without question every time I hear it. I'm, I low-key love this already. There's Marty. My ex I really hope you guys enjoy it too. But I know I have to speak with him, no matter what. I think it's I genuinely like a thing of beauty. Is watching me. And it actually came out this year as well, it's not even an old night. game. Came out in November, 20th of November I think it was. Chapter 1, The Detour. I knew where to find Marty. At the station, we'd always draw straws about holiday duty. Marty never joined in. He always took the New Year's takes Eve shift, New Year's Eve. even though he had someone to go home to. I understood. Ten years ago, we survived the, bloody New the Year. the press called the Bloody New Year. Forgot Must have been a hellish case like Albert. that New Year. Not by us. We both left parts of ourselves behind that night. What parts are? Some wings. And we're going to talk to these guys. Phyllis. Ooh, hello, poster. For the crown, for the king. We need you, citizen. Protect and serve. Oh my god. There's Bobby. <laughs> now I want to see a picture of Bob. Sorry. Bobby's me sister's dog, one of me sister's dogs. Now I just want to see Bobby in a police hat. I really do, sorry. I'm gonna, sister, I'm gonna buy you, I'm gonna buy Bobby a police hat and a police uniform. I need to see him in it. It's happening. Every time this poster disappears, good old Blood Boil puts it right back immediately. I tore it down at least three times already. Oh, so keep Actually, on tearing it's it down. It's a kind of passive aggressive game for us with the chief. Okay. Phyllis. Well, look at that. Hey, Sonny. Okay, I thought Phyllis was the girl. Over here. I heard the big boss threw you out. Um, like boys, maybe. 
I may not be on duty, but I'm still a cop, just like you. Oh, the cops well, as well. More than you. Hey, you don't have to be so picky, sure. <laughs> Sorry, the way, I like Roy's voice. Blood boils not in tonight. Malloy is in charge. Oh, Malloy. Oh, know who Malloy God. Is. That clumsy buffalo is here tonight. Oh my God, he's actually a buffalo. Again, he's lucky. <laughs> you got it. You're looking for Marty, eh? Yeah, we are. I see you're still the brains around here, Phyllis. Yeah, I'm looking for Marty. Birds of a feather flock together. I see you're still the funny guy around here. You'll find the giant feather duster at the shooting range. As always. Are we gonna shoot? Hey, Royce. Am I'm I gonna have to shoot things? Because maybe you'll be able to understand. If this prickly shithead makes another okay. racist Whoa. remark, I'll strangle him with his own raincoat. Okay. <laughs> I'd love to see that. Oh, it's because he called him a feather duster. Hey, whose side are you on, you jerk? Oh, I get it. In we go, Marty. Here we are again. Marty McChicken. Clarkville Police Department. I've never been good at history, but if I'm not mistaken, this place has been a church, a hospital, and even some insane cult secret hideout. Insane, insane over the cult years. secret hideout. Anyway, <laughs> the place holds the secrets of the ages, and some drunk pigs in the basement. You know, that's a funny thing. You read that, some drunk pigs in the basement, and you would normally shrug that off as a new metaphor but i think to be fair i think that's actually genuine genuine <laughs> i think that there actually is some drunk you could take it literally right guys well that bombshell we're going to leave that here for today before we go and see marty we're going to do that in the next time in the next in the next time in the next episode hope you're enjoying this as much as i am this is just a thing of complete absurd beauty and I low key love it. If you have enjoyed it, if you like the look of it and all that, tell us what you think in the comments. Please hit that like button, comment, share, subscribe, do all that jazz. And as always, I shall see you all on the flip side. Bye bye, guys. <laughs>